What is up, Posse? My name is Will B. Last video, I gave you guys the best of the best of 2017. This time, we're going to go the opposite route. We are going to take a look at the worst movies of 2017. Now, just like my best movies of 2017 list, I'm just going to give my quick thoughts overall on these movies. And as always, a reminder, this is just my personal opinion. If you think there's a movie that should be on this list, well, I either haven't seen it or uh, I just never had the time to. And like I said in my best movies of 2017 list, I've seen more good movies than bad movies. Uh, so I was only able to uh, find three movies that would be able to qualify for this list. So, without further ado, I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's dive right into this. Though. The worst movies of 2017. Number three. The Circle. All honesty, I never had high hopes for The Circle at all. I mean, it has good concept, and the talent they have is great. They have Tom Hanks, Emma Watson, uh, John Boyega, and all that talent is sadly wasted by not bad acting, but just bad directing in general. The plot is boring, the, the editing is all over the place. The only redeeming quality I have about it, well, is two. One, is Tom Hanks. You really can't hate this guy. Almost every movie he's in, no matter how good or bad it is, he always ends up being one of the best parts. And the second part is the set design. I really like to the uh, office area that they uh, designed, I think it's really nice. Looks like something out of the future, and that's something I would expect uh, when uh, they're dealing with this kind of concept. Just overall, bland movie, totally forgettable, not going to remember it whatsoever. Number two. The Emoji Movie. Alright, show of hands, who actually asked uh, for the Emoji Movie to be made? Many people actually uh, thought that I would put this at the worst movie of 2017. While it is terrible, I was able to find very few redeeming qualities about it. It's still overall a terrible movie. The characters are annoying, the humor falls uh, flat, and the story just goes absolutely nowhere whatsoever. I understand that the movie is kind of meant to be for little kids, but I think even little kids would look at this uh, movie and think that it's dumb and unnecessary. The Emoji Movie. Not original, not funny, and nothing that will grab anybody's attention. And the worst movie of 2017 is... Transformers The Last Night. It, it's a no-brainer. I mean, what other movie would be at number one on this list? These Transformers movies have become much longer, and uh, they're more lazily written than ever before. I mean, what is even the plot of Transformers The Last Night? Oh wait, there is no plot! Apparently Michael Bay is now stepping down from directing the Transformers movies, but right now, I'm not uh, trusting anything. Transformers The Last Night. It's long, loud, repetitive, and in the end, it's just a giant mess. Guys, that just about does it for this uh, list. I thank you uh, so much for watching it. If you did like it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Now sometime in January, I will upload a video as to what to expect uh, in the coming year of 2018. There's the 25th episode of uh, Shudema coming up, uh, and there are more movie reviews uh, to come up. But if you do have any suggestions uh, for me to review, for either just a movie review, or for uh, a Shudema, be sure to leave a, a comment uh, below. So, with that being said, until next time, see you later, posse, and have a happy new year.